Hello everyone. In this video, I will talk about my own journey in Python, uh, a journey that started uh, some years ago. Uh, I will describe um, uh, the stages of this uh, journey, how I started from scratch and uh, where I am now and uh, all the interim uh, stages. Um, I am coming from a background with a lot of mathematics and uh, in my studies and also uh, many years in uh, business and uh, in finance, uh, more specifically. Uh, and when I started uh, Python, I had zero knowledge about programming. My top tech skill at that moment was Excel. Uh, Excel, which I used a lot in my uh, business um, day, but I had zero knowledge from uh, programming and uh, all the other uh, advanced tech tools like uh, SQL, databases, uh, servers, uh, etc. So my first, first, first step was to buy a book about Python and um, I started reading the basic um, elements of Python. Of course, that was a bit boring because um, I didn't uh, work uh, on uh, the examples on, uh, on uh, the PC, so I only read on the paper, which was not so interesting. But later I um, watch uh, some tutorials. I remember, I will mention some uh, specific websites. Uh, I remember watching uh, Datacamp. It was a famous tutorial based uh, website at that, at that uh, point. Uh, and later, I, my my major shift and what worked mostly for me was when I started working on the problems of this website. I think that was the most crucial point in my entire Python career. This website helped me a lot to understand how all the elements of Python work, work together, together to solve real life problems. Uh, I solved approximately 150 problems of this website. Uh, many of them are mathematics based, but uh, not all of them. Uh, but generally, yes, it is more mathematics and uh, logic uh, behind these problems. Uh, that was the major step one. Let's write them here, step one, project Euler. Uh, this together with my favorite tutorial website, which is W3Schools, and that was the go-to website uh, for anything related with Python theory. It is a very, very nice website and it has improved during all these years. So here you can find anything you want, lists, dictionaries, files, uh, I mean everything. It, the, I, I see that they have added uh, many other tools uh, and uh, it still remains my favorite uh, website for uh, learning anything new for me. Of course, after AI and the chat GPT and such tools, um, I, I do some sets on uh, AI uh, models uh, when I meet something new. But when I want to read a tutorial, this is my go-to website still. And it was definitely uh, during my first years of my career. So together with Project Toiler, let's put W3Schools on top because in order to work on project Euler problems, I had to have some knowledge of lists and uh, loops, etc. Um, after I felt <coughs> more confident with solving problems, my 
my third major step was to try to help people and solve problems on Stack Overflow. Uh, I think I, I gained huge, 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 huge knowledge uh, on working on real problems uh, posted by uh, people. Uh, many of these had to do with uh, problems they met on their uh, business or projects or studies. And uh, uh, it was a major help, uh, not only on the solving and working with Python, but uh, also interacting with people uh, with the same mentality. I mean, I talked a lot with people on a problem solving basis, uh, programmers, and uh, this helped me a lot to, to go deeper in the language. Uh, I gain a reputation uh, at approximately 10,000 plus and I still I have some years that I don't part participate anymore because I am uh, working on other stuff but um, I think I have the same reputation um, until today um, which is pretty good I think I sold approximately I helped uh, approximately on uh, five to six hundred problems. I don't remember exactly the number, to be honest. But it was somewhere around five and six hundred. Five hundred and six hundred. So Stack Overflow was definitely my major step three. Uh, after Stack Overflow, I try to test my knowledge on uh, uh, real working conditions. I felt mature enough to start working with Python on um, uh, as a freelancer. I started uh, looking uh, for work as freelancer and for gigs. So I tried platforms like uh mostly app work and uh, I also tried fever and the uh, freelancing uh, freelance but uh, I focused on uh, app work and I was a bit lucky or or skilled I don't know <laughs> what uh, what was the most important uh, factor uh, I did very good from scratch from the start uh, in first weeks I got uh, uh, some projects, uh, I focused and w put a lot of work on them and I got my first good reviews from client and from then on uh, things went uh, easy for me. I easily found uh, new clients and uh, the reviews, uh, the good reviews uh, kept coming and my profile, I, I built a, a very good profile and uh, also, I actually showed my uh, my uh, uh, surviving problem because I, at some point I had to find uh, work to, 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 to pay my bills. So it was very good for me. And of course, you know the flexibility of, freela of freelancing and how, uh, how good this, uh, uh, this is. I, I really loved this uh, way of living and working. Uh, so Upwork was my major, major step four, and it kept for some years, and it is still uh, valid. I mean, I still work with Upwork clients until today, and this is a major part of my Python journey. Uh, after Upwork, I got to major projects with uh, huge enterprises. One is a major insurance company in US. They found me on LinkedIn and uh, I signed a contract on uh, as a, a freelance uh, Python developer. And uh, this contract lasted eight months. I worked full time, eight hours per day. The project was very, very uh, complex. It had to do with uh, actuarial um, calculations. 
Uh, I translated actuarial calculations to Python code. And after that, uh, there was a break that I got back to freelancing. And uh, after that, I got a second uh, major contract with a huge uh, European organization. I also worked for eight months there as a Python developer, and I was the main Python developer of the team. So the major, major step five was working on full-time big projects. Of course, as Python developer, because I had worked on other projects, but not as a Python developer. So here uh, comes today. Today, I feel that my next step is to share some of my knowledge of Python. Uh, because uh, from nature, I'm a person that likes to share his knowledge. I see a lot of, I have seen a lot of, um, in my business life, I have seen a lot of people trying to keep the knowledge for, for themselves. They are scared to share knowledge because uh, somehow they feel that uh, they will become less competitive if the pe person next to them uh, learns uh, what they knew. Uh, but I never had this uh, mentality. I think that um, if uh, all of us uh, wanted to share their knowledge, our world would become uh, much better and less, uh, uh, you know, I don't like fearing the, the people next to, uh, next to me. Uh, it's, a bad, it's a bad feeling. Uh, and also, of course, I like help. I, like to I would like to help people at uh, their new steps with this amazing la programming language, which at this stage is at the top of programming languages uh, in all indexes. And so it is the best programming language in, 2000, in 2025. And I would like to help people in their first steps by sharing my knowledge and my own journey in any way possible. So, yes, this major step is becoming a YouTuber, which is actually started um, a couple of, week, of weeks ago. This is my, I think it is my seventh video. Um, and uh, at this stage, regarding uh, my core programming activities, I am working on some Upwork clients, uh, and I am passively open to major uh, projects with enterprise clients, but I am not um, uh, in a hurry. I, I don't, uh, it's not necessarily to start uh, soon with big projects. So it can be in, uh, after months from now or maybe next year uh, because I have my upward clients and I, I gain my bread and uh, pay my bills from uh, this uh, work. And uh, uh, in another video, I will discuss about what I am working regarding my, by uh, regarding improving my Python skills. I mean, what uh, new libraries I learned, what tools I learned. One of them is uh, AI. I want to uh, to learn how to combine Python with AI. Uh, I worked on some scripts with OpenAI library. But uh, I'm still at the beginning. Uh, I will make a new video about uh, what I'm working on, on uh, uh, the core programming, um, uh, my core programming daily tasks. Um, I will close this video here. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to my uh, video. Thank you very much for watching.